What's up, everybody? My name is RJ, and this is a five minute ish interview. I'm here with my friend, Zach. Zach, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Sure. Thanks so much, RJ. My name is Zach Brown. I serve as a director of expansion for Pi Cap Alpha International Fraternity, also known as Pike. You're great. You lead expansion. That means all of the new chapters that started in this last year, that was kind of, that's what you oversee, right? And then you've got a team. Talk to me a little bit about you know, what you lead, how many people are on your team, and really what your sole focus is for Pike. Yeah, absolutely. So I serve as one half of our growth team. So I work with starting new chapters, whereas we have a director of membership growth that works on getting our current chapters to be larger in their recruitment programs. So I work with everything from prospecting to provisional chapters, the expansion project itself, and then installing formally our provisional chapters as fully charter groups of the fraternity. So it's, it's me that works, that has an expansion title, I should say, and then to actually conduct our expansion projects, we have a team of 12 chapter consultants that I will pull to do the expansion project. So they double as recruitment consultants, expansion consultants, as well as chapter consultants. That's incredible. I and mean, so, so just a few things on your plate and a few things on your team's plate. This isn't, it's not like it, some teams run like just kind of two dedicated recruiters or four dedicated recruiters. These guys, they, they've got to learn how to help chapters grow and they've got to learn how to do a really successful Pike startup, correct? Yes, that's, that's absolutely correct. And this past fall, fall 2023, you guys found some, some pretty cool success. You want to talk to us a little bit about the projects that were in front of you guys this past fall and, and what those results looked like? Sure. So we did five expansion projects this fall, a North Carolina State, University of Kansas, East Carolina University, Illinois State, and Pepperdine University. So those were all fall projects. Those were ran from September through October, November timeframe. Uh, we had two staff members on each of those. Um, so for the entire fall, our focus of, of my team, at least my, my side of headquarters was expansion and starting these new groups, making sure they succeed. And they did succeed. The initial efforts were, were pretty remarkable. I mean, are you looking for a specific numbers, RJ? Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and share with everybody. Okay. You go ahead. It's all right, dude. It's, I believe it's worth, pretty, it's worth bragging about. Uh, these are some pretty incredible results. It, all of them were, were successes in our book. North Carolina State, we recruited 165 men with the initial number. Kansas was 163. Got to go through the list here. ECU was 90 men. Uh, Illinois State was 91 and Pepperdine was 101. Just incredible. For so much, for you to find so much success this past fall, all within one semester, man, just kudos to you and your team. And I know that just from being a Pike partner, you know, like how much training and how much energy and time and organization and accountability went into getting those results. Can you share a, just a little bit of a glimpse into that with uh, anyone that's watching this video? I think sometimes you can hear large numbers like that. And your mind can go a lot of different ways. And, and I want to make sure people understand, I mean, there's a lot of work that went into these projects and specifically your process, Pike's process, and, and really finding high quality Pike young men. I mean, that's, it's not just about finding a large number. You've been able to you know, really dial in your process to also find you know, really quality men that, that you're really proud of within those numbers, R real humans, uh, real impressive students. So can you talk, just give us a little glimpse into like, what that looks like for your team and talk a little bit about your process and how you seek those quality men. Sure. So, I mean, with a lot of these projects, we've been looking at for years to, to actually return to campus or establish for the first time, a lot of time run up for, for these, for these projects. The work really started last, last school year hiring our consultants. So we were intentional with, because we don't have growth specific consultants, we hired consultants that could do all of the above. Over the summer, we started our eight-week training program, which is normal for our chapter consultants, that we add an additional four to five weeks on with expansion-specific training. So they all learn how to recruit, but then they all get their, their project-specific training. So they're, they learn about the campus, they learn about the alumni, they learn about what they're walking into. And that lasts all the way through until they pretty much hit the ground running in, in the fall when they start their semester travel. Prior to the project, we did a whole campaign over the summer with social media advertising to just show campus that we're, we're going to be there, as well as let alumni know that we're going to be there and start drumming up interest and actually recommendations for who to talk to on campus. 
uh, both student wise, but also administrators, faculty, staff, coaches, you know, anyone that we can get our, an audience with. So once our consultants hit the ground, it's not starting fresh. We had a lot of, a lot of run up to be able to set up meetings by the time we even hit the ground uh, in the fall. Zach, that is so important for people to hear. This isn't a, a one month prep. This isn't a two month prep. It's not even a three month prep. I mean, you're talking, you, you said years and, and full calendar years to in order to adjust your hiring strategy to find the right people to be able to be relevant and to build relationships on these campuses and these communities that I got to believe helps them you know, find the young men that, that you're talking about. 